Next, let us come to a, something called a suspense account. What is a suspense account? A trial balance is supposed to agree. If the debit side and the credit side do not agree, we try and locate the errors. We go back to the books of account. We look at the posting. We look at the totaling and try to locate the errors. But sometimes it becomes, sometimes it may be difficult to find the error. There may not be enough time to do so. And it becomes necessary to move on and prepare our final accounts. What we do in that case is that this difference in the trial balance is put in what is called a suspense account. So what is a suspense account? It is simply a temporary account. It is a temporary account. Suppose we take a trial balance and we have some balances, let's say cash of 1 lakh. We have bank of 2 lakh. And let us say we have capital of 3 lakh and we have some rent expense of 20,000. That's all. Suppose when we total the, this, we see we have a total here of 3 lakh 20,000 but here we have a total of 3 lakh. So there is a difference of 20,000. We need to bring 20,000 here. We have to bring 20,000 here. Only then we can get this balance tallied. Only then we can get the trial tallied. This 20,000 we put temporarily in an account called suspense account. What is a suspense account? It is a temporary account. Does it have a debit balance? Does it have a credit balance? It could have a debit balance. It could have a credit balance depending on which side is short. So in this particular case, the debit total, debit balance total was 3,20,000 but the credit side is only 3,000,000. Therefore, the credit side is short. It means 20,000 we will credit to suspense account. Temporary account created only to tally the trial balance. Temporary account created only to tally the trial balance. What is closing stock? We do not have an account called closing stock. Ledger account does not have a closing stock. We have purchases. Goods are purchased. They remain in our stock. Goods which have purchased, not sold, that is called stock. But we don't have a separate account. When we purchase goods, we say purchase account debit to cash or purchase account debit to creditors. When we sell goods, what do we say? We say cash account debit to sales or we say debtor account debit to sales. So we do not have a closing stock. But at the end of the year, at the end of the year, we need to physically count our stock and see how much of goods we purchased and were not able to sell during the year. How much goods we purchased and were not able to sell during the year. When we physically count this stock, physically count this stock and we know Say out of a total purchase of 2 lakh, we have 15,000, 15,000 stock lying which was not sold. You remember our definition of an expense and an asset. We said whenever we spend money, the benefits of which we get also in, ne in, in the next years, future years, they are called assets. Purchases are called expenses because we intend to sell these goods in the current year and get the benefit in the current year. But some part of these purchases, in our example, let us say purchases, we have 2 lakh. Closing stock, we have, let us say, 15,000. So what has happened? We purchased 2 lakh goods, we sold. 1,85,000 worth of goods 
for 2 lakh, 2 lakh 50, for 3 lakh, whatever. But we've managed to sell 1 lakh 85,000 and we were not able to sell 15,000 in the current year. So the benefit of this 15,000 is not received in the current year. Therefore, it should not be a part of our expense. So we remove this from expense and we transfer it to an asset account. So sometimes when we count the stock, the accountant may pass an entry called closing stock account debit. Closing stock account debit to purchases. To purchases. What happens as a result of passing this entry? What is closing stock? It is an asset. What is purchases? Purchases is actually an expense. When we credit purchase, we are reducing purchases. When expense is being reduced, we credit the account. So now if you look at purchases, we had 2 lakh, but now we have reduced purchases by 15,000. We therefore now have purchases of only 1,85,000. This is correct because we managed to sell only these items during the current. So if usually we do not see closing stock in a trial balance, if we see closing stock balance in the trial balance, it means that the accountant has physically counted the stock, physically counted the stock and included this in the trial balance. By, by passing an entry, we cannot just include it because our double entry will not Agree, it will not agree. We cannot just put closing stock. If you pass an entry, what is the entry the accountant would have passed? Closing stock account debit to purchases. And what is closing stock? It is an asset. The moment purchases was credited, the purchase balance will come down. So we reduce purchase expense and increase asset, increase closing stock asset. Otherwise, otherwise, Closing stock is counted. It is an item which appears after the trial balance. It is there for information and adjustments are made when we prepare the final accounts. Adjustments are made when we prepare the final.